Duke here means getting controls implemented. If there is a requirement of a firewall, DLP, multi-factor authentication, so getting those product implemented, getting those controls implemented is Duke here. But when you suppose you implement two-factor authentication or a firewall or an IPS IDS, does that suffice your job? No. Those has to be maintained and monitored at the regular interval. So process or practice, the practice of maintaining a due care effort is due diligence. Due care is normally a responsibility of a top level management or a senior management. It is their responsibility to provide a budget and for those controls implementation. So due care shows company has taken responsibility for the activity that takes place within the corporation, has taken the necessary steps to help protect the company, its resources, and employees from possible threats. Taking reasonable care in protecting the organization, so what is expected of the management under the normal circumstances, that is I would call as a due care. It's a legal term. In US specifically, there is a federal sentencing guideline Federal sentencing guidelines, those are the guidelines which helps federal judges in interpreting computer related crime. And there is one of the provision of federal sentencing guideline that is prudent men rule. Prudent men rule states that if there is a breach and it has been proved, if it is proved, if it has been proven that a management has not exercised a due care, so they will be punishable under court of law. For example, take an example, you have gone to your management and say that I need an investment for implementing these devices in cluster. Your management says that I don't see any issue of power or any other problem in this particular area. Why to spend $15,000 extra for two firewall when, when your work can be done with the help of one firewall without cluster? And he didn't provide, and the management didn't approve that investment. And now, after that, you implemented single for you implemented single firewall, an outage happens, and you don't, and there is a loss, and an outage happened, and because of that outage, the data get corrupted, the data we are not available, the, the services were not available to the user, and now fine has been imposed, and a criminal investigation has been initiated. Your management will. Be in problem and they can be punishable under court of law. It's a legal term. Lack of due care is considered as a negligence. Examples of due care, deploying necessary security controls to protect organization. For example, deploying firewalls in an organization in cluster, training employees in security awareness. I'll give you one real time example, which I was a part of. In 2017, I was I also covered that earlier or said that earlier also in 2017, there was a data center outage in Europe for international airline calls. That outage lasted for four hours. And after and there was a 200 billion pounds loss. The company had incurred a loss of 200 billion pounds. 100 million pounds was a direct loss, and another 100 million pounds was was, was an indirect loss. Company applied for a cyber insurance. The surveyor came for an came that the, the insurance surveyor came for the survey. What are the things he look out for? He look. I'm talking in terms of network security, the simple thing. He look out for. He looked whether the devices, all the critical devices like firewalls, load balancers, routers, switches, are they in cluster or not? Yes, they were in cluster because this is what is expected of the management. Then they also looked into it, whether those critical devices have multiple PSUs or not. You know PSUs? Power supply unit. So they also check whether those devices, the critical devices, or critical data center device, they should have multiple PSUs. So they check whether those critical devices have multiple PSUs or not. And sometimes what happens, companies do purchase firewalls or, or network devices with multiple PSUs, but those PSUs are connected to only single power supply. So the main purpose of having multiple PSUs is to connect these PSUs to multiple, two different power supply coming from two different power grids. So that if one power grid fails, one power supplier fails, 
you have a connected, you have a power coming, you have a power available from another grid. So they checked all those things and it was in line. So this is what this, this is what does it mean? The management has ensured the due care in place. Got it?